All right, so we're at 4.5 exponential growth in decay. So the exponential model is a is equal to 684.7e uh, to the 0.005t, describing a population a of a county in millions t years after 2003. Use the model to determine when the population of the country will be 768 million. Okay, so basically we're said, they're telling you that a is going to be 768 so we're going to substitute that into the original function. So we have 768 is equal to 684.7e to the 0.005t. Now first, we want to get the e by itself by dividing it by 684.7. And whatever we do to one side, we do to the other. So let's cancel out. So that leaves us 768 over 684.7 is equal to e to the 0.005t. Now, we want to get this t down from this exponent, and the way we do that is we take a natural log. Because we're dealing with e's, we're going to take the natural log. But whatever we do to one side, we do to the other, right? the whole thing. Okay, now... Because we took the natural log, we're going to pull this entire exponent down from the exponent down to the front. So we end up with the natural log of all this googly gop, 768 over 684.7 uh, is equal to, and uh, the natural log of e just goes to a 1. So, um, so this is 0.005t. And we were multiplying it by the natural log of e, but that all just goes to a 1, which means that all just goes away. So we end up with 0.005t is equal to the natural log of all of that. Okay, now the way we get the t by itself is we have to undo the multiplication of t by the 0.005. So we do that by dividing by 0.005. And whatever we do to one side, we do to the other, divided by 0.005. So those cancel out. And we're left with t is equal to the natural log of 768 over 684.7 all over 0 0.005. Now we did all that just to solve for the t. So whatever that is, that's t. So I'm gonna stick it in the calculator, I get the result. Okay, so we get about 22.96. So this is about 22.96. I mean, you could round up to about 23, but this is, this is all an approximation, by the way. So this is the exact answer, and this over here is the approximate answer. Okay, now they say they use the model to determine when the population of the country will be 768. Now, since they said this is the number of years after 2008, okay, so we need to add this to 2003. So what we end up with is 2,025.96. I mean, you can even round a little bit more to say, well, it'll take about, uh, you'll finish up about 2026. But again, normally you, uh, if it was uh, 25 and it wasn't quite flipped over to 26, you'd say it, it would finish up in uh, 20, 2025, right? You don't really need the decimal. So the year 2025, that would usually be pretty much good enough. Okay, so let's try the next one. So in 2000, the population of the country was approximately 6.01 million, and by 2097, it is projected to grow to 16 million. Use the exponential growth model. Model A is equal to A uh, initial E uh, multiplied by E to the uh, KT, in which T is the number of years after 2000, and A to the zero of power is in millions to find an exponential growth function that models the data. By which year will the population be uh, 2 million? Okay, so let's first let's, let's, uh, let's define everything. Okay, now initially, so, so this is the initial population, and this is the population it grew to. This is the number of years it took to do that, and then of course we have some kind of constant growth there, k. Okay. okay, so let's first, let's see if we, they give us the a, the final population, a. Okay, so let's see. So this is saying that's the population by 2097, and over here, Oh, no, no, I'm sorry. So this 2,000 goes with that. So that's the initial, right? 
And then this uh, 2097, that goes to this 16 million, right? So that's the new population. That's So that goes way over here, whoosh, just wraps around, and you end up over here, okay? So the initial population is 6.0 million, 0, 01 million, and it grows to 16 million, okay? So this is what it grew to. This is the final population of 16. And the initial population, again, that means the initial error, right? So that population is going to be the 6.01 million. Okay, so we've identified and defined those. And um, we end up with that. Now we also want to find T. So we know T is the number of years after 2000. So we would say, well, they stop at 2097 and we start at the year 2000, right? So the number of years that passed between 2000 and 2097, well, 97 years went by. So we know T is equal to 97. Awesome. Okay. So we have all the information to plug it in and solve for K. So we would say 16 is equal to 6.01 E K times 97, like that. Okay. Now, first we want to get the E by itself. So we undo the multiplication of E by 6.01. And whatever we do to one side, we do to the other. Those cancel out. And we end up with 16 over 6.01. And that is equal to e to the 97k power. So we take the natural log of both sides because we're dealing with e's. Okay, and that allows us to bring this exponent down to the front. Right? So at this point right here, we have a natural log of 16 over 6.01. And that gives us 97k natural log of e. Natural log of e just turns into a 1, so it just goes away. So we're left with a 97k. And over here is natural log of 16 over 6.01. Now, at this point, I want to undo the multiplication of k by 97. The way I undo that is I divide by 97. So I just divide the side over here by 97. These cancel out. And that gives me k is equal to a natural log of 16 divided by 6.01, all divided by 97. And that gives our, our initial equation. So I'm going to get an approximation of that k on my calculator. Okay, so we get about 22.96. So this is about 22.96. You could round up to about 23, but this is, this is all an approximation, by the way. So this is the exact answer, and this over here is the approximate answer. Okay, now they say they use the model to determine when the population of the country will be 768. Now, since they said this is the number of years after 2008, okay, so we need to add this to 2003. So what we end up with is 2,025.96. I mean, you could even round a little bit more to say, well, it'll take about, uh, you'll finish up about 2026. But again, normally you, uh, if it was uh, 25 and it wasn't quite flipped over to 26, you'd say it, it would finish up in uh, 20, 2025, right? You don't really need the decimal. So the year 2025, that was usually pretty much good enough.